Welcome Seekers of Tranquility. Today, we're going to explore the concept of relaxation, reflection, and finding your inner peace with GCA motivation. In the whirlwind of our modern lives, inner peace often seems elusive, like a distant dream. Yet, it's more than just a dream, it's a state of being that can be achieved and nurtured. Inner peace is not just the absence of conflict or turmoil. It's a sense of harmony, a deep understanding of oneself, and a quiet mind amidst the chaos. Within this video, we'll dive into practical strategies to cultivate this serene state of mind. We'll explore the power of relaxation, the importance of reflection, and ultimately, how these elements can lead to finding your inner peace. These are not just one-off practices, but lifelong habits that can transform your daily existence, making each moment more enriching, more meaningful. So, are you ready to embark on this journey towards a more peaceful self? Let's dive in. To start, let's talk about relaxation. It's not just about laying on a couch or taking a nap, it's much more profound. Now when we think about relaxation, many of us picture ourselves lounging on a beach, sipping a cold drink, or perhaps curled up with a good book. But relaxation is more than just physical rest. It is a holistic concept that encompasses the health of the body, mind, and spirit. Let's delve deeper. Physically, relaxation helps to reduce stress hormones in the body, lower blood pressure, and slow the heart rate. This can contribute to a healthier immune system and improve digestion, among other benefits. But relaxation isn't confined to the physical realm. Mentally, relaxation can provide a much-needed break from the constant whirlwind of thoughts that can often leave us feeling overwhelmed. By quieting the mind, we create space for clarity and creativity to emerge. It allows us to step back and see the bigger picture, to gain perspective on our lives, and to make better decisions. Moving on to the spiritual dimension, relaxation fosters a sense of peace and tranquility. It provides an opportunity to connect with ourselves on a deeper level, to align with our inner wisdom, and to cultivate a sense of well-being and contentment. So, how can you achieve effective relaxation? Well, it doesn't have to be complicated. Simple techniques can make a world of difference. This could be as easy as taking a few moments each day to breathe deeply, to meditate, or to engage in a hobby you love. It could be practicing mindfulness, appreciating the beauty around you, or just sitting quietly with your thoughts. The key is to find what works for you and to make it a regular part of your routine. Remember, relaxation is the first step towards inner peace. It's all about releasing tension and inviting calm into your life. Moving forward, let's focus on reflection. It's not about dwelling on the past, but learning from it. Reflection is the mirror through which we can view our past actions, decisions, and experiences. It's a tool that allows us to step back and observe our own journey to see our growth, our triumphs, and yes, even our missteps. But reflection isn't about self-criticism or regret, it's about understanding and learning. Imagine reflection as a silent mentor, always ready to guide us, always ready to teach. When we reflect, we give ourselves the chance to revisit our past experiences, not to change them, but to gain insights from them. It's like reading a book of our own life, where each chapter holds a lesson, each page a moment of wisdom. Now you might wonder, how do we reflect effectively? The first step is to create a quiet space, physically and mentally. This could be a peaceful corner of your house or a tranquil spot in nature. Or it could simply be a state of mind, a moment of silence amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life. Next, ask yourself open-ended questions. What did I do well today? What could I have done differently? How did I react to a certain situation and why? These questions aren't meant to judge or blame but to understand and learn. Remember, reflection is not a one-time deal, it's a continuous process, a journey of self-discovery. It's about acknowledging our strengths and accepting our weaknesses. It's about being honest with ourselves, about recognizing our potential, and embracing our imperfections. And the beauty of reflection is that it's not confined to our personal lives, it extends to our relationships, our work, our goals. It's a compass that helps us navigate our life, guiding us towards growth, towards understanding, towards peace. So, why is reflection important? Because it's through reflection that we learn from our past, understand our present, and shape our future. It's through reflection that we discover the essence of who we are and who we can become. Through reflection we gain wisdom and understanding, which brings us closer to our inner peace. Now we reach the heart of our journey, finding your inner peace. Inner peace, it's a phrase we often hear, but what does it truly mean? Inner peace is a state of being mentally and spiritually at peace, possessing the knowledge and understanding to keep oneself strong in the face of discord or stress. 
It's a quiet place within us that serves as a sanctuary, where we can retreat to when life storms become too overwhelming. How can we find this elusive inner peace? First and foremost, inner peace is not something you find, it's something you cultivate. It's like a garden. You can't just expect flowers to grow without planting seeds and tending to them. Similarly, inner peace requires consistent effort and nurturing, so let's talk about some practical strategies to cultivate this inner peace. First, practice mindfulness. This is a simple yet powerful tool. It's about being completely present in the moment, not worrying about the past or the future. When you're eating, just eat. When you're walking, just walk. Pay full attention to what you're doing in the present moment. Next, let's talk about acceptance. Acceptance is not about resignation or giving up. It's about acknowledging the reality of a situation and choosing to let go of the struggle with it. When we fight reality, we suffer. When we accept reality, we find peace. Third, practice gratitude. This is a powerful practice that shifts our focus from what's lacking in our lives to the abundance that's already present. Start a gratitude journal. Write down three things you're grateful for every day. You'll be surprised at how this simple act can shift your perspective and bring you peace. Fourth, cultivate positivity. Inner peace is easier to achieve when you're in a positive state of mind. Surround yourself with positive people. Engage in activities that bring you joy and practice positive affirmations daily. Finally, embrace solitude. Spending time alone allows us to connect with our inner self, to reflect and recharge. It's in these quiet moments that we often find the most peace. Remember, these are just tools. The real work comes from within. It's about being kind to yourself, forgiving yourself and loving yourself. It's about releasing the need for control and trusting in the flow of life. And above all, remember that inner peace is not a destination, it's a journey. It's not about achieving a state of permanent bliss, but rather learning how to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and ease. Finding your inner peace is a personal journey. It's about creating a harmonious relationship with yourself. So, I invite you to embark on this journey to cultivate your inner peace. Because when you're at peace within yourself, you bring peace to the world around you. As we conclude our journey today, remember that achieving inner peace is a continuous process. It's not about reaching a destination, but about embracing the journey and making key practices like relaxation and reflection a part of your everyday life. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discussed today. We've explored the power of relaxation, how it not only soothes your mind and body but also prepares you for the challenges that lie ahead. We've talked about the importance of reflection, the act of looking inward and understanding ourselves better, and how it can lead to transformative personal growth. We've also delved into the concept of finding your inner peace. We've learned that it's about accepting who you are, acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses, and continually striving to become the best version of yourself. It's about finding balance and harmony within, and allowing that tranquility to radiate outward, positively affecting those around you. But remember, these are not one-time activities. They are habits to be cultivated, practices to be integrated into your daily routine. They are tools that you can use to navigate through life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. So take a deep breath, relax, reflect, and embark on the journey to discover your inner peace. And as you continue on this journey, remember, you're not alone. We're here for you, providing guidance and support every step of the way. So, what areas would you like to work on in your journey towards inner peace? Maybe it's practicing more mindfulness, or perhaps it's improving your self-esteem. Whatever it is, we're eager to hear about it. Your insights and experiences can help us to create content that's more relevant and helpful for you and our community. Comment below and share your thoughts. Your voice matters to us. And if you found our content helpful, consider subscribing to GCA Motivation. We're constantly creating new videos to help you on your journey towards inner peace. Until next time, stay peaceful.